All right, so we're back. We're doing this again. And uh, yeah, so mermaid diagrams. We we're going to look at how to do a mermaid diagram. Um, it's been a while, but let's see. Mermaid diagrams. Uh, so let's just, I guess, use this editor to kind of get us started here. What is this? What am I doing? Diagram. So what am I diagramming? Um, let's do a flow chart. It's a timeline, class, state diagram, Gantt chart, pie chart, ERD, Git graph, mind map. Whoa, let's see mind map. Um Flowchart with efficient but perhaps not so readable syntax. I mean, flowchart with subgraphs. Yeah, I guess that's kind of cool. Uh, flowchart with classes and styles. Oh, they really beefed this up since the last time I saw this. Sequence diagrams. Quadrant chart user journey. Uh, Yeah, I don't fully understand how that works, but all right, let's just do a um, flow chart, right? Let's do a flow chart. And let's see how this works. Let's see how this works. Uh, markdown open. Block preview to the side. Will this work? Oh, wow, it did kind of work. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, all right, so let's see. All right, what are we flow charting? So let's flow chart this whole process. Let's let's go through this entire deal here. Um, so what is the course? What do we want to do? We want to do um, systems design for uh, infinity flow systems design. And we're going to start with uh, workflow management editing. Yeah. And let's talk about a Let's de define some expectations here. So Let's talk about our, our model. Um, so this is going to be the, I guess, the tenant model. So um, it's a multi-tenant application. Let's write this down here. So multi, oops. All right, so multi-tenant. Oh, yeah, let's see. Let's do this because this will help me. Enable completions from Markdown, status ready. Public code references are enabled. No. How do I do that? How do I turn that off? Uh, edit settings. Public code. Oh, I guess maybe that's in your GitHub account. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. But anyway. Um, the other thing I need is all right. Um, anyway, let's talk about our, our features. Uh, I don't even know what we would call this, but it's a multi-tenant. Uh, it's multi-tenant, so that means that um, we support individual, I guess, partition data by user. I guess partition is not the right word to say, but um, basically each user sees only their stuff and they're hosted in the same system, um, not a different database kind of a deal. Uh, but anyway, so what does our model look like? Um, so I guess what we want is a flow chart. Is that a flow chart? Nah, it's not a flow chart. So basically we've got a hierarchy, right? So we've got um, 
tenant. And let's do this uh, text. So tenant um, has, uh, I guess, organizations. Organizations, sure. And organizations. Uh, yeah, that doesn't. Yeah, so organizations um, have uh, teams and teams. Yeah, I guess that looks right. So teams. Um, have users, right? But users don't actually belong to teams, but you put users in teams and the teams live within organizations and tenants have organizations. But, you know, users belong to a, I'm gonna say users belong to a tenant. Um, users belong to, you know what? I think that's wrong. Huh. This is actually correct, I think. So we're saying that users, you know what? This is a relationship right there. That's exactly what I need. So uh, let's see flowchart. Uh, yeah, our ERDs. So this is what we do here. Um, mermaid. And uh, tenancy model, right? Tenancy model. I guess that's what this is called. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to say you know, Copilot never wants to shut up, but now it's let's see, enable completions for where's the completions? Oh, that's the panel that pops out. All right. So, enable completions for markdown. So, uh we want to say um how do you make a comment in here um i don't know how to make a comment i don't know how you make a comment in markdown um or in um not markdown but um mermaid make a comment how do I do comments? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, oh, pound sign. Um, all right. So it's, uh, we do not have comments yet, but that was a decade ago. I didn't know mermaid was that, uh, Something, something. Let's try this. Let's see, is that? Yeah, I guess that works. Um, huh. All right. Oops. All right, so what are we going to do here? We want to um, make a flow chart that shows the tenancy model. Um, with the following tenant. So tenant, um, user, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, so let's do this again. Permission. Uh, let's leave permission out. That's going to get too noisy. Yeah, project workspace workflow. Project workspace workflow definition workflow uh, environment. Um, I have notes on this. Uh, Oh, 
Let's see. Um, what did my notes show? My notes show what? My notes show. All right. So tenancy model. Let's look for my notes. All right. So organization team user workspace uh workflow definition workflow uh environment workflow execution um yes uh, let's see make a flow chart um that uses the entity name has the i don't know what this is called uh node name and show let's see there we go but this is not right but it's a good start because i don't really speak mermaid um all right so a tenant has many users um and a tenant has many organization there is a way to do this i think um where is like i wish there was like syntax for this stuff let's look at this let's look let's look um let's look at the mermaid spec mermaid documentation and we want flow chart no not flow chart <laughs> oh erd that's why this looks all weird oh man make an erd All right. Mer yeah, let's see how this goes. Yeah, here we go. Now we're we're getting somewhere. So let's um All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, so a tenant has Let's see where are the symbols. Uh, first entity relationship. So that's the grammar. First entity. So zero or one, exactly one, zero or more, one or more. All right. What are we doing? We are doing one or more, no upper limit. Um, Okay, but what is this? The the lines. What are the lines now? Um, God, one of the things I used to hate about UML was that it meant different things to different people. And I never really got the direction of the arrows right. right? <laughs> so leading away means that's the way you go? You know, has a relationship? I don't know, man. But um, there's a difference in the lines. Um, so this is for styling, classes used, code. So why does theirs look a little different? Oh, because they're defining properties. That's how you do it. OK, so they use the shorthand. So this is. Um, zero or one left and right okay exactly one and one or more um all right so it's the size of sides of the arrow here so what are these i guess that's a solid line i guess we could just go like this tenant has users nope um Oh, I guess this is zero to more, zero to many. So what is this one? This is car has 
what is this? I really wish they would like tell you what's going on here. Um, name driver. So car allows a name driver. A person is a name driver. So this is zero. So this is pipe pipe zero. Pipe pipe zero is exactly one, exactly zero or one. Is that what that means? So zero or more. Um, all right. So let's see. What does double pipe mean? Oh, exactly one. All right. Tenant has exactly one with zero on the other side. So, oh, user has exactly one tenant. Is that how this is supposed to read? But then this is zero or one. Tenants have to have users or they can't exist, like an administrative user, right? Um, so I guess this is uh, like that. And that's not valid. Oh. So what are these double pipes though? What did what do these mean? Oh, exactly one. So there's exactly one tenant to uh, zero, one or more users. All right, no upper bound. So that makes sense. So this is one. Why is why is two lines one versus two? And why is this exactly one? Um, so the little branch things or more, right? One or more. But then exactly one is, I don't know, maybe that's some math notation. I have no idea. So a user can have many roles. So zero or more. Um, sure, a user can have zero or more. So it actually got that right. So a tenant can have um tenant can have multiple organizations so this one is going to be the double pipe a user can have has many roles a tenant has many organizations an organization has many teams a team has many projects a team has many projects and a team has many projects and a project has many workspaces. The workspace has a single, exactly one workflow definition. Exactly one workflow definition. But does it though? Because they're versioned. So let's let's leave this like this. Workflow def. Is that how you do this? How do you la label these things? Name driver. Er diagram. So oh, you have to like define it as a class. I see. Um, I wonder what happens if I do will that like set properties of it? Does that work? Tenant, organization, team, project, workspace, workflow definition, workflow environment workflow execution yeah that actually worked all right so we got to do the same for workflow execution and workflow execution all right so where is Workflow execution. So that worked. Um, all right, let's let's talk through this a little bit. So, 
so this whole tenant organization team project deal so i'm thinking there's really like two modes i'm thinking that every tenant has a default organization and has a default team and but those are enterprise features right so if you pay for organizations if you pay for enterprise level stuff you get organizations and teams but what that really means is you always had one except it was hidden and you didn't have access to manage them right because you didn't have permissions for that stuff so they were just hidden from you but they always were there so the model is the same regardless i think and then team has project and project has workspaces and okay so project also has environments right so this is actually wrong here so this is actually project so a project has environments and a project has workspaces and a workspace has a workflow definition now these are versions right so they you do have multiple definitions but they're i guess it's really a workflow definition but it's one and a workflow definition has many versions so that's what it is i think god modeling is hard um all right so how do we do this um So there's exactly one in a workspace. So a project has a workspace, project has an environment, and a uh, workflow definition. So this is going to be so it's a one-to-one -one between workspace and workflow definition. Yeah, um, and then we have a workflow definition has workflow definition has workflow version, and what we'll do is we'll do workflow version. All right, so project, environment, workspace. Workspace has workflow definition. A workflow definition has many workflow version. Uh, it's not workflow. Yes, it is that. It is that. So workflow version. And then we've got a... So workflow definition can then... Let me go back to my notes. Let me go back to my notes. Do, do, do. Uh, da, da, da. Where are my notes? All right. So. Let's see workflow versions. Work definition all right so a workspace is where the user opens a workflow definition um, it's uh, it's your editor right it's where it's your canvas it's your place where you can edit your workflow and you can then go ahead and um, debug it execute it um, things like that then you've got uh, let me find the notes for release now release so many notes all right so workflow definition has workflow versions 
and then you release a version, right? So this would be a workflow version has exactly one one release. Um, yeah, so one release and one release and uh, then a workflow definition workflow version has a release because you're releasing it right and then a release a release can have many deployments gosh this is starting to look like um ci cd system right this is well i mean that's what it is right that's what i want for this uh deployment so a workflow definition to different environments right and a, de a release what does a release have a release has release has a single workflow uh, a, a release has a single workflow and this kind of maybe breaks down so the workspace has one workflow definition in it and a workflow definition has many workflow versions you create a release from a workflow version. There's exactly one of them. And a release has many deployments. A release also has a workflow, which is a compiled workflow. It's like the abstract class, I guess. And then a workflow execution. So a workflow has many workflow executions. So when we actually, are, we're talking about runtime here, right? Um, So when we invoke the workflow, when we execute the workflow, uh, we get a workflow execution and a workflow execution workflow execution um, has exactly one. Well, I guess it's got many, right? Uh, many logs and traces and metrics right yeah logs traces metrics so that's our observability and now a deployment an environment has many deployments right um, an environment, where's environment, environment has many environment has many, uh, deployment. All right. Uh, project has environments. Yeah, so you can you can think of this as um, I guess a workspace as so a project as like a an application, right? And like an environment, or rather an application, and a workspace as a service, right? And an environment's like a stage right staging development production maybe there's a user acceptance testing maybe there's a pre-production um you know whatever sky's the limit right so you de deploy a release you create a release from a version of a workflow so that's kind of like cutting a release from a commit or a tag um and so that release is the version number that that is 
you know, tying it to the, it's just like releasing software, right? A software release. And then of that service and that release has a deployment, has many deployments into different environments because environments have deployments, have many deployments, releases have many deployments. And we're talking about the same entity here. Um, but a release can be deployed to multiple environments, right? Um, so do releases live in environments? No, deployments live in environments and deployments have releases. Deployments have released data, right? Like they trace back. Now the release has a workflow. This is like, you can think of this as the abstract class, the output of the version and that has executions. So you can think of this as like the running instance, right? The deployed instance of the service, like your actual, I guess, artifact that is deployed living somewhere, uh, running. And when an invocation comes in or some trigger for the workflow, you have an execution of that workflow. An instance of this workflow is executing. That execution emits logs, traces, and metrics um, for that. And you know, I guess should, should that, should that be here? Should it be for workflow? I guess it should be for the workflow because all of the, I guess it's kind of the same, right? Um, they get aggregated together because a workflow is associated. This is like the type and this is the instance execution and instance of that type, right? Has the locks and we're, we're really doing is we're aggregating all of the execution. So I guess this model is correct. Um, all right. What else we got? So I think that this is, let's look at this. I hope I'm not like conflating, you know, the security model with, uh, I guess this is the relationships of things, right? All right. Um, so tenants have users and users, um, Users, uh, users have roles, but roles really belong to a, in a tenant, right? I guess you define, but the roles should really be defined at the lowest level, I guess, but you should be able to copy them. I don't know. I'm not really sure. I'm going to leave those roles out for now. Let's, um, how do I comment out roles? Where's roles? Role. Here we go. User has roles. Let's see if comments work. Hey, look at that. All right, so let's put this here. Uh, not sure we need roles right now. Actually, we do not need roles right now. So we're going to leave that. All users are the same here, um, with the exception of probably the super user. But you know what? We don't need to worry about this. We're a single user right now and uh all that stuff can come later um all right now organization team project these are transparent these won't really show anything they'll just exist um in the background there do we really need that i i would say not because that's one more thing i have to make right so Let's do tenant organization, organization team. I love how it just like connects stuff and a team to project. Where's project? Oh yeah. <laughs> um, so let's just do tenant. Let's do tenant to project and we'll add that stuff later. Right. Um, I just want us to like be able to think about how this works because this stuff's a pain in the ass to fix later, but something tells me there's going to be another iteration here. So tenants have projects, user 